Okay. Let's go. All right. Listen up, please. You guys already know how to this, do this first thing. The first instruction says, draw that graph. Right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So, according to this graph, X, you do. X is what? What does this piece of paper say X is? X is four. Right? Right? Okay. So what can I write here? Four. Four. And X, when is X four? Read the graph. X equals four. Right? So what's the only number I'm allowed to write on this side? Four. Four. Right? X is always four, yes? Does it matter about the Y? No. Because no matter what Y we have, what's X? Four. Right? So if, X, if Y was one, what would X be? Four. If Y was 2, what would X be? If Y was 512, what would X be? If Y was negative 1 million and 7, what would X be? 4. So now let's go over to our graph and put a dot where X is 4. Where is X 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right there, agreed? Do we all agree? Where else is X4? Is X4 right there? Yeah. Is X4 right there? Is X4 right there? What about right between them? 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 What do I end up drawing? A straight line. Right? So the next thing says describe the graph. What did we just draw? A vertical line through what coordinates? Through x equals 4. Why is that weird? Where do we count our x's? This way, horizontally, or vertically? Horizontally, right? When I give you a coordinate, 3, 4, you know to start going 3 across, right? But when there's only one letter, you go 3 across, and then you make an up and down line. Crazy, hey? All right. When we only please underline highlight, do whatever you need to do, when we only have an independent variable. Because it's not always going to be X and Y, is it? Right? We did that one with time and temperature. Right? We did that one with DVDs and money. Yeah? When we only have an independent variable, And I'm going to put in brackets an X value. We graph a vertical line. And vertical, remember, is up and down. A vertical line. Everybody good? All right. So here's a graph. What's it look like? Where do you put your dot? At one. And what do you draw there? What kind of line? Vertical. That's all there is to it. It's not hard, is it? No. Now, let me ask you this. 
in real life, are you going to see very many vertical lines on a graph if it was describing real life? Which is it? No, of course not. Because this says that X isn't changing. Right? X is going to change in real life, isn't it? Time is going to pass. Right? Or DVDs are going to get rented. Or whatever. Right? In reality, this one isn't going to happen very much, is it? But in math class, it happens a lot. Okay? Right? Good morning, Waylon. My team is very strong. I follow the instructions, well, but it makes my team too strong. I know, right? It's not very good. I think I only need to put one screen. But what does this say? Yeah, I didn't. I, I thought one to two, two. Okay. right? Was usually the first one. Should have gone with the first one because now I have two strong teams. Okay, that's Nothing is more sad than when your T is too strong, except possibly when your T is too weak. Oh, that's no big deal. I hate when ice cream is really, really, really ice strong, but I hate when I put on water. You know what I hate? American iced tea. Yeah. Because it's just cold tea. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you order it, and you think, oh, yeah, I'm going to get me some iced tea. Yeah. <laughs> then you're like, something tastes like iced tea. I know, I always ask, I'm like, but then when Americans come here, they have the same thing, right? She's like, I'll get me some iced tea. <laughs> now, my friend from Britain, and Miss Lloyd might be able to back us up on this, when he arrived in Canada, I was like, hey, you want some iced tea? He's like, what? What is that? Kind of a crazy person drinks cold tea. We throw that out, pour it on the rose bushes. See? I told my great friend about Vancouver. All right. You guys are smart kids. I got me another equation there for you. I want you to draw the graph. Now, what is different about this equation than the one we just drew? There's two differences. Ethan, what's one? It's... A plus one, and what's the other difference? It's a y. So when we add x plus or x equaled four, we could graph it in our heads, right? Because we had a letter equals number. That's what we want in math class, don't we? That's the goal. What have I got here? Y plus one equals zero. Is that what I want? What's wrong with that? It equals zero, and y is not by itself. We don't want something that equals zero. That's nothing. We want it to equal something. So what do I do to that to make y equal something? What do I do every time in math when I see a letter with some math around it? I do the math. The math that I see, or... The math, the math that you see. or the opposite of what I see. Opposite. I do the opposite. I see plus one. So what do I do? Negative, Negative one. Where else? Zero. On the zero. So now what does y equal? Zero. Negative one. We know what this means when it's x, right? We've got it right here. We made a chart, and x was 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, no matter what y was, right? What do I have now? Now, I've got x and y. What's y? Negative 1. What's the only thing I'm allowed to write here? Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. What if x is 7? What's y? What if x is 24? What's y? What if x is negative 78? 
what if x is negative 364,122? Negative 1. Where on this graph is y equals negative 1? Where? Up 1, down 1. Right there. And what's the only value I'm allowed to have for y? Negative 1. So what kind of line do I got to draw there? A horizontal one. Right? That makes sense. X gave me a vertical. Y is the opposite of X, so it gives me a horizontal. But again, it seems weird, right? Because we count on the vertical axis, but we draw a horizontal line. Yeah? So what's going in this box? In the first box, it was when we had an independent variable. We draw a vertical line, right? Right. Sam, who are you and what have you done with the real Sam? That's three answers today you've given me. Three correct answers. You're stepping up your game. Oops. Horizontal. This one. Line. Now, there's a couple of things we have to remember here, right, guys? Over in this white spot, this blank, remember. The letters <coughs> must be isolated okay highlight underline do something with isolated so remember it's got to be x equals something and is that a vertical or a horizontal line oh, you lost it that's the vertical one when it's x equals it's vertical when it's y equals it's horizontal. Yeah. The letters must be isolated. Okay? Everybody got it? Everybody good? Yep. Yeah, yeah? Okay. You guys do this one. Is that letter isolated? Is it a Y that's isolated or an X? It's a Y. So I got to count on the up and down scale, yeah? What do I got to count to? Three. One, two, three. What kind of line do I draw at three? Horizontal. Then we describe the graph. The graph is a horizontal line. And every point on the graph has what? An X or a Y coordinate? A Y coordinate of what? Positive 3. Does everyone see how easy this is? Okay. When it's X, we count on the X line. When it's Y, we count on the Y line. Tell me what's different here. Ethan. That's okay, because you're back to giving me right answers. Sam, I have no problem if you're going to interrupt, if you interrupt with the right answer. That's okay. But Ethan was right. There's both letters here, isn't there? Right? Now, what did I say? Something's got to be isolated, right? We're going to isolate Y. Why? Why, why? Why, why, guys? Just tell me why. Why is the dependent variable, isn't it? We do all our math to x, right? So what should we do here? 
Let's get y by itself, right? Okay, so I've got y plus 2x equals 4. What do I got to do to get y by itself? Minus 2x, where else? At the 4, so y has to equal 4 minus 2x, doesn't it? Everyone agree? So, we got to make a table of values. X, Y. Now, I know you remember this. What are the numbers that Mr. Myers said always to use for X? I can choose any numbers I want. Always you want to use zero and then a positive and a negative. Always. So, what did I give you here? A negative, a zero, and a positive, right? So what goes in here for x? What's the first x I'm going to use? It doesn't matter. You can use any one, can't you? I'm going to use negative 2 because that would be the first thing we see if we're counting, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what letter does that negative 2 represent? x, correct? What letter is that? So what can I write there? Negative 2, right? So, this first one is going to be 4 minus 2, but not x anymore. What is really going there? Negative 2. What's negative 2 times negative 2? 4, right? Right? So, it's 4 plus 4, isn't it? Which is 8. So x was negative 2, what was y? 8. So what's the point that we can put on our graph? Negative 2 is the x, what's the y? 8. Everybody good? Okay. What's the next point that we're going to try? 0. So it's 4 minus 2 times what? 0. What's 2 times 0? How many fingers yeah. times two? Yeah. Good boy. What's four minus zero? Let Sam redeem himself. What's four minus zero? Four. Oh, I almost got you. Four. So what's the point on our graph? What's the x value? Zero. And what's the y? Four. And the last one. Two. Four minus two times two. What's two times two? What's four minus four? Oh, we should have let Sam have that one, guys. What's the x value here, Sam? The x value. 2, and what's the y value? 0. Do I have 3 points for my graph now? How many points did Myers say you have to have to make sure you have a line? 3. Do I have 3 points? How do I put them on the graph? Okay, so negative 2, 8. Where's that? 1, 2 to the left, and now where? Up eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh! It goes by twos. Two, four, six, eight. And I put my first dot. Right? Where's the next one go? Zero, four. Zero. Up by two, two, four. Where's my last dot go? Goes to two. Does it go up and down at all? Why? Because the y is zero. Now, the million dollar question. Do I connect the line? Think about it. Do I get to connect the line? Why, Kian? 
Can I put any number in for x? Can I choose any number in our universe and multiply it by 2 and then subtract that from 4? Can I? If I put in 1, will it work? 4 minus 2 times 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 1, 2. Is that going to be on the line? Can I do it with a half? What's 2 times a half? I have two halves. It's one. What's four minus one? Four minus one is three, right? So if I go out to half and I go up, I hit right there. Isn't that three? So does it work? So do I connect the line? Does the line stop at that point and that point? Where does the line go? Does it go on forever? Yeah, it does. What? I see. It's going to be like that today, is it? You know, you make that point. But I asked you guys the question, you all stressed about it for quite a while. All right, we're done. <coughs> so listen, I don't want you to do anything tonight. Okay? Because I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Okay? I'm going to leave instructions with the sub. I'm going to try and get the same lady that I got last time. She did She did all that in the back. She seemed to be really, really good. Okay? She's going to know how to do this. It's not going to be like I'm getting an English teacher who's like, Oh my God, what are alpha? What, what are letters doing in math? Okay? And you guys are going to do work in your books.